<clears throat> okay, another freeform bowl again. Really addicted to making these because they are fun to make. They're quite easy to make and design you can just go mental. So over here I've got gold and silver sear crushed glass. I uh, highly recommend this stuff. 150 grams. I think it's about 10 quid a pot. You get plenty and it's good quality and it's not too big and it's not too small. Um, I've got black resin mixed up with a little bit of the resin for decor silver mica in it and my Llewellyn Ryland epoxy pigment black and then in the white I've got the Ryland Llewellyn Ryland epoxy white pigment and some of the resin pro white um, ivoryish I don't have colours written on them. It's really annoying. Just says base mica, a base mica. Um, yeah, so resin pro, Sahara shift mica powder. I kind of do lines because I got silver pens and gold pens to finish. So let's just get in them, do a bit of pouring. Just spotted a foreigner in my white. And a little tiny black hair, I don't know where that's come from. Looks a bit like um, a bit of lint, a bit of fabric dust. I feel the resin warming up, it's only been mixed up for ooh, 25 minutes. There's my stirrup. As always, the Nick Pro. Stirrers, silicone stirrer sticks, love them, love them to bits. Let's tilt that white over a bit more. And go around there with a bit of black. And stir up the silver. I always mix it with resin because then you don't get the air bubbles. Oh, sorry about that guys, there's someone at the door. Okay, that's one of the tenants. My partner's family own a, a caravan site. We have a lot of statics. People live in them. Anyway, right, where was I? Getting some of this silver in there. Like I said, it's mixed with clear resin. We'll go in with a little bit of black again. Bit of white. Now, plenty of gold. I'm going to go in with plenty of gold for the middle ish. Put the whole lot in. I do notice with the gold, a bit of the colour runs into the silver for some reason. Leave a little bit behind. Let's move that around. Bit more silver in there. Then randomly drop. Bit of gold. So 
some of the white. Some of the black. Cool, I got shapes today. Right. With some more silver. I'll be topping this all back up in a minute. A little tiny bit of black. And then a bit more of the white. There, that drip of black there didn't want up there. Never leaned. For those wondering about my accent, I am Somerset. And I do actually live on a farm. My partner's family's farm. And over the road we have the caravan site. Jack of all trades. We're making a bit of a mess today. Resin for you. That's why you wear gloves. Nitrile gloves are essential. You can't use any other glove. Well, you, there are some types of glove you can use, but in general, nitrile because latex, the resin. Latex is porous, so the resin can get through it to your skin. And trust me, it does. And when I use the Texperch resin, which I can't use, it calls blisters on my fingers that were nasty down the sides of my nails. Really uncomfortable. I had to have them popped.
And they be cleaned. Sure, I got no resin around me. I might put my arms on, like I tend to do sometimes. Bit of black to go in, people. Gonna go and break brush of time.
Right, before I do cleaning up, I have to do some cleaning up, guys. Um, be back in a sec because I'm gonna, I might as well just do it now. Time to pop. Sorry about the noise. Why won't you go down? There it goes. I'm going to have to do some bubble popping in a minute. But you see what I mean with this the sear gold crushed glass? You do get a bit of gold come off it. But that just adds to the detail. Anyway, guys, right, I'm going to pause this for now. I'll be back in a bit. Right. <clears throat> it's been a good seven hours now, so it should be safe to demold. I think that's pretty central. Um. I think I'm just going to pop this over the top. Be it for now. Time for the baby boys. See you guys for the unmold and uh, reveal. Okay, see what we've got. Um, whilst I'm here, I will most probably be using these pens. Uh, it's the Edin Gold Chrome. Not so much shiny chrome gold, but it's pretty good. These black chrome silver pens are beautiful they're by fly fly z high gloss liquid chrome and they do come out like that they are lovely and i've got uh 0.7 millimeter one millimeter and three millimeter so i'll be using these to finish this off 
not 100% sure it's going to come out like I wanted it to, but anyway, it's come away from the bowl. I just give it a tap earlier on and it went clunk clunk, so we'll see. Okay, we got an unusual shape. I would like to say, if, I'm, if you're not happy with your shape, with these, if you've got a heat gun, mine's the Van Hulse, it's just got one, two, blow one, blow two. I'm um, always for this nozzle on it, concentrates the heat in one place. Putting a bit of gentle heat around here, a couple of days after it's cured, you can then change the shape if you want to and uh, run, put, once you've got it in your shape you want try and hold it as best you can and then put it under running cold water as cold as you can and it will set it and then I literally just put it in a bowl of really cold water and leave it for a few minutes and it's job done just remove this other bowl because this one I've noticed bit higher this is like a smooth side this is like a bit higher I might heat up and push this down a little bit to get more of a flatter bottom <clears throat> anyway it's nice and shiny so I, I can already tell I'm not I don't think I've got the effect I want because the white's pulled in more than I wanted it to and the black in the middle is it might be totally different on the other side. We shall see. There's a little bit of a lip on the outside this time, not the inside, which is good because that makes it easier to remove with um, a cuticle trimmer. Two seconds. Let me show you what that I use. Right, so what I will use is for this. I think I'll be able to get away with just using my cuticle trimmer, which is, is you get nail kits. Nail kits are brilliant for this finishing resin with. Then I've got this file, which is really coarse, not so coarse. Then you get these sanding blocks. So I will go real coarse. Not real coarse, not so coarse, a bit more softer, always circular motions, so I kind of like that. Then these blocks, which is basically like removing ridges from your nails. I've actually got ridges on my nails, so you got like you got one, two, three, four. So you start with one. See if I can get my nail to shine. Just to show you how good these things can be. So one. Then two. It's already starting to shine. Three. A lot of women out there will be like, yeah, we know about these things. But a lot of male artists won't. Look at that, and then finish. Obviously, with the resin, you have to do a little bit more work. But okay, showing my nail is already up to a regular now. See the ridges, shiny. So that's what I use. But I picked up a kit, I've got four of these, I've got four smaller ones, I've got two of these, two of these, two of these but in long ones with different grades including these grades, two of those, I also got a pair, I also got extra tools which do come in handy, oh, I can't find them now, they are in my toolbox here somewhere, where are you, there's one. Where's the other ones? Got them. A 
there it is. So I also got that's for like pushing your nails back here, but I do find it handy for some bits and bobs. This one. You get that one. That does come in handy for some bits and bobs. I can't remember offhand what I've used it for. And again, a, a thinner. Because this one's quite chunky at the end. And these. They're great for any, like, bigger bits you want to just get rid of. Right, anyway, let's get down to the reveal. Definitely going to have to reshape this one a bit. So, three, two, one. Oh, yeah. That's come out a lot better than what I thought it would. That pretty much what I wanted. I don't know about you guys, each to their own, I suppose. But um, that'll make a nice striking fruit bowl, I think. I do like that. It's quite smooth. Sometimes they don't always come out really smooth when you shape them because of the, the crushed glass. I can feel it, just a little bit, but nothing major. It's still shining. I really like that. And that little hint where the yellows run kind of adds to it. I don't know if I'll need to use much pen on that. And as always, I'll put some a little footage or pictures at the end when I've finished it. Like I said, I might. I don't even know if I'll reshape it a little at all. Kind of. It almost matched itself. But you know, sometimes you can just be totally surprised. I love this here. That almost looks like a, a cascade of snow falling down a, a frozen waterfall. Okay guys, so there'll be a little bit more on the end here, a little quick video, maybe some photos. On to the next project. Hit the follow button if you like it, hit the like button, make a comment, any questions, ask me questions, I don't mind. Um, this was, it's quite a heavy bowl, it was about 275 grams of resin in total. Um, it's nice and hard, it does sit flat, do you know, I don't think I'm going to reshape it at all, I'm quite happy with that now quite like this quirky bits okay guys see you on the next one. Oh, and to all my new followers thank you so much I appreciate every single one of you like your support just by following me just boost my confidence to try more and do more videos for you guys to learn what you can do or learn what not to do when I make mistakes which I do Yep. Yeah. Alright guys, catch you in the next one.